Well, in light of the massacres that took place last Sunday, Palm Sunday in Egypt, at the two Coptic Christian churches, many of the Easter festivities at the Christian churches for this coming Sunday, Easter Sunday, have been canceled uh, due to mourning for the victims, those that lost their lives, and the many, the many, many, many that were injured as well, guys. This is really sad that they're having to cancel on this, but we know Egypt uh, has just been in a state of chaos right now, especially the Coptic Christian communities. Uh, we need to keep them in our prayers, guys. They are being affected by terrorism just as much as those in Iraq, just as much as those in Syria, and many other countries are. Uh, the main Christian diocese in Egypt has announced that it will not hold Easter celebrations this year in mourning of the 46 Coptic Christians that were killed in the Palm Sunday Massacre brought about by twin jihadist bombings. The Coptic Orthodox Diocese in Minya, located in southern Egypt, said on Tuesday that the commemorations of the resurrection of Jesus will be limited to the liturgical prayers quote, without any festive manifestations out of respect for the faithful who were slain by the suicide bombers of the Islamic State or ISIS. The Minya province has the highest Coptic Christian population in the country, and Christians there traditionally hold Easter vigil services on Saturday evening and then spend Easter Sunday um, with large meals with family visits and other celebrations as well. Christians in Minya have lived in constant fear of attacks from the area's large, large South Muslim population. In certain local villages, the faithful celebrate mass before a cross drawn on a wall, making it easy to erase quickly in order to avoid attacks. I mean, can you imagine having to live like that? I mean, you got to get rid of all of that stuff so you, you know, fear uh, an Islamic you know, terrorist attack of some sort on you because you're, you're, you're showing Christianity, you're celebrating Christianity, you're celebrating Easter, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, which, mind you, ISIS hates. All terrorists hate the name of Jesus Christ. They do whatever they can, in fact, to ruin that name. They rip the crosses off of churches any chance they get. That's what they're all about. We know that. We know these are pretty much nothing more than devils that are doing the work of Satan himself, promoting this through radical Islam, mind you, as well. Okay, guys? So... Again, just uh, keep the people in Egypt in your prayers, guys, as these festivities, unfortunately, have had to be canceled. Easter Sunday um, is coming up. Pray for all those around the world. Um, pray that Jesus Christ will just give his peace as we look towards him these, this Easter, knowing that he was resurrected. They put him in the grave, but we know that three days later, he rolled, they rolled that stone away and there was no body to be found. That's because the Lord Jesus Christ, he rose on the third day. No matter what kind of evil hits this world, we know that ultimately still, Jesus Christ is alive. He is not dead. It's like that song, my God's not dead, he's surely alive. It's exactly, to this day, how it is. And he's coming back soon. He's coming back again. That day is coming a lot sooner than I think we all realize. Anyway, guys, I'll put the link below if you want to check out the story. Subscribe to me here, CardsFan480. For those of you that have never given your life to Jesus Christ, if you would like to do so today, please let me know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know you would like to receive Christ as Lord and Savior. You can be born again, forgiven of all of your sins. Come into the kingdom of God. We'll have everlasting life and a home in heaven for eternity, guys. I promise you it'll be the greatest decision you ever do make. I'll continue to keep you guys up to speed here on all the latest breaking news, current world events, and Bible prophecy updates as we get closer and closer to the return of Christ. Thank you so much to all the new subscribers that have recently joined up as well. I greatly appreciate it. I'll be back with more, guys. Take care. Be safe out there. God bless each and every one of you, and I'll talk to you soon.